I'm uh, shelling and eating peas. peas at the moment. Best taste She's ever. Um, known for being one of the nation's top culinary talents, Michelin star chef Angela Hartness. Back in the kitchen now with an easy Monday meal. How lovely so to, nice see to see you. So nice to see you. Likewise, lovely to see you guys um, as well. Let's start with Pub in the Park, though, because you're, yes. you're doing that. This was started... Um, I'm just going to carry on Herridge, wasn't it? Yep. So and Tom so these are, these are now all over the country. He's done eight this year. So we've already done... There's one in Nutsford been done, Leeds has done. The next one coming up is Bath and Warwick. So is that your ultimate pub garden? Well, it's basically... Tom has basically called up all his friends like me and said, do you want to come and do a pop-up restaurant? So we're doing Cafe Murano or Paul Ainsworth is doing one, Jason Atherton's doing one. And we do a di three dishes and then Pom, uh, Tom, Tom gets amazing bands playing. So you're it's in Warwick. On the 5th to the 7th of July, and the next yeah. one, as you said, is in Bath, 21st, 23rd yeah. of June. Well, that so we've got great. all of those. So, ironically, the dish I'm doing for you today, we sort of did a similar one last year and we've changed it, but it's perfectly in season. We've got beautiful ham hock, which yeah. is cheap as chips, mm -hmm. costs about three quid a kilo, or you can buy it already picked from the supermarket. So, how would you cook that? Just in the oven and then pull it all apart? Just boiling water. Just literally, oh, just like, you know, I mean, so as if your mum, you know, you remember when you used to have things like ham. Ham, boiled, so ham. Yeah. boiled ham, boiled ham. That's my exactly. I so. love boiled ham. That's the thing. So I've got in there some shallots, a bit of garlic, a little bit of butter, and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil oh, and just fresh that. peas. And then oh, I'm going to make. Eat that. Even though you two look gorgeous, I'm going to make you get dirty and do a little okay. bit of work. And then we, what we've done is made these lovely, what we call for fally. And they're the little bows. They're the little bows. So and you what can you make these with here? kids. You're very quick at this. This I'd be doing well, with a ruler for weeks trying to get that. We've right. got amazing Julia in the back who does a lot all the prep. So what we have here is these little rectangles, and you're just going to pinch them together for me. Oh. Which That's, sounds you easy. Sound easy yeah. You can do it. Come on, so a little pinch. Oh, so pinch it's like it two together. Pin yeah, what one pinch, one pinch there, one, one pinch, pinch there. there, one pinch there. And I'm going to put <gasps> these ones. You see? Yeah, but you're staying. You're masters <gasps> now. Look at you. Oh, look at that. But this is what's great about them is they're perfect to do with kids. You see, it's a great little thing to sort of do with children. You know, and everyone knows bows. You know, it's uh, one of yeah, those kids definitely. ones that everyone knows. And a bow is because different pastas. Are good for different sources. Exactly, they, yeah. Some of them hold like the tubey things. You and are bows good for that? Do they? Bows are, they good, are good for source vehicles. Yeah, they're good for sort of home source vehicles. You know all the terminology. Well, I, I really don't. I really don't. Good um, they're good for vehicle. holding like like great with tomato sauce. That one, something like this with you've got a little bit of cream sauce. Anything that sticks to it, and that's the key. Well, you're so really they're neat. Although, look how many I've done. Yeah, you're faster. I am. You see, I, think, I feel a little competition between you. <laughs> oh, there always there. is. Always a there always is. So just, just run through what's in there so, now. So, what I've then done is added the ham. So, loads yep. of lovely ham. A little bit of mascarpone. So, basically, and if you haven't got mascarpone, you could just use a little bit of cream if you wanted to. Mm. And also, another little cheeky tip that people forget. Use a little bit of pasta water. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of the pasta water. And what that does is just loosens the sauce slightly. So, it's just got a a little bit of stock to it and it's a bit looser so when you toss your pasta it covers it all the together. Star the starch helps in there exactly this, yeah. starch then we're going to add a little bit of fresh mint in oh, there right. at the end so make a little bit of mint oh. we'll add a little cheese now and a little bit on top just because what the, what that will do and what cheese is that parmesan cheese oh, or right. if you haven't got parmesan you know what I, i'm not I'm authentic about a pizza. I don't believe in pineapple on a pizza. I think that's wrong. I think but that's I think wrong. if you want to put a little bit of cheddar cheese or gruyere or something different, you know, yeah. if your kids don't eat parmesan. Your rules are very flexible. My rules. <laughs> I think any of fruit course. on a pizza is weird. Thank you. Uh, any Thank fruit you. in any sort of cooking I don't like, apart from mm. like an apple tart. Would you do ham and pineapple? No. No. You don't see, get why that. put it on a pizza? That's no. my argument. Do you it's like wrong. that? Do you I, like ham and I'd pineapple? I'd do it, I'd do it. Ham fillet, and pineapple? Fillet. Yeah, out of choice, would you order that? I'm not sure I'd order it, but it's Hawaiian. It's a Hawaiian pizza. No, it's wrong. This, I mean, I love I you, I really do, but now on this level, we may fall out. <laughs> I, I fell out weird. with a boy on a date, I refuse. I thought, this rest, this relationship is not going exactly. anywhere. Because he, put... because he wants yes, a pineapple on a pizza. Come on, you've that's, got harsh. To... that's harsh. You've got to have some standards. <laughs> right, anyway, back to cooking. <laughs> so what I've done is I've added the pasta in, a little bit of spoon, and toss it all together there. I mean, Beautiful. that's really simple. And, like, the smell is You know, incredible. you've got, obviously, you've got the 
the dry stuff you can buy because not everyone's going to make fresh pasta. And but what it's is the difference then? To do. In all honesty, is it better to spend the time or? I think for something like this, dried is perfectly great. You know, it's got the right starch. The your sauce is going to stick to it. I think if you've got time, filled pasta, you know, if you're filling it with something like spinach or ricotta, then fresh is the best. But, you know, at home, my, my cupboard's full of dried pasta because, yeah. you know, it's time, isn't it? Especially yeah. if you've got kids, you're working, all the rest of it. You can't do it. So we're going to put that into there. Oh, that looks so good. And you good. see, and it's, it's absolutely stonking. We're going to do a little bit of uh, fresh parmesan on top. I might even get you to do a bit of garnish, Philip. Can you pass the pea shoots? I'll bring it over to you, <laughs> and then you can do a little soiree of garnish. Oh, a little so soiree. Yeah. There, move those peas out of the way. And there you see, look, look how easy that was. It's perfect. And so if you... I mean, we've got all those lovely peas there, which yeah. Michelle, and there is nothing quite like that flavour. However, you know, frozen peas, just easy. as good. Of course they are. Of course they are. Look, anything that's going to make it quicker and easier for you, and as long as it's... Uh, you know, frozen peas, I think, in the right time of year, better than fresh peas. You know Chef, what I mean? can I ask, is that a correct soiree? It's a very is lovely sort of soiree. Thing you were looking... I don't know why I'm saying the word soiree. <laughs> Even I'm making stuff up now. It looks delicious. I think you I think you can come and do a day in the kitchen, Philip. Can, can I? Can you? Oh, I'd love to. Of you, Holly. I yeah, look at those little I, Although, I, you know, I watch all the, the, the cookery shows and... Yeah. The, master shows um and i i cannot believe the intensity of a kitchen i just oh yeah it's that, that is i'm just not that organized yeah how long how long uh, 43 seconds chef <laughs> what <laughs> is there anything you can't cook oh god loads of stuff like like what's your because I, I can't do um yorkshire puddings like no matter how hard i try i cannot do it okay oh, is there I something you too. like sweet stuff? stuff is not my forte because right. i don't eat sweet stuff i i love savory stuff so i'm good at that sort of you, you, do, like you naturally do stuff you like more don't you yeah. Yeah. they're not talking to you anymore you're just eating now this is, carry this on. Is Hello. so yeah. gorgeous so easy really and great for kids because kids love peas kids Kids love ham. If you can't yeah. get ham, help you use other ham, and it works. And the so. mint Cream. in it. Yeah, the mint is the amazing. The mint is really good. Like because it's you, it's got that creamy yeah, cheese yeah. flavour, no, but then the good. mint does something wonderful. Perfect. It's making good. me feel good. Mm. Good, good, good. That was the idea. Food Thank to you. nourish. Thank Lovely you very to see much you indeed. Thank you. Lovely to see you. you. And you. Thank you. And good luck at pub in the park. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, for all the details, have a look at our this morning app.